Back in France, less than a week, Bonaparte saw that the time had come to act. Solemnly deliberating in the Luxembourg Palace, the Directory was about to be swept aside. The debt from eight long years of war was mounting, draft evasion rampant. Bandits roamed the highways in the countryside. The government seemed powerless. Already, there were schemes to overthrow it. As the crisis ripened, Bonaparte determined to find a way to seize power for himself. His moment, he knew, had arrived. He allied himself with one of the plotters, a member of the directory, Emmanuel Siez, who needed the support of the popular young general. This coup that Siez plans is a parliamentary coup, a political coup. Siez is in charge, and force will only be used if something goes wrong. General Bonaparte is only supposed to have a supporting role in this coup. On November 9, 1799, Bonaparte and Siez set their plot in motion. It's really a very simple premise, that the parliament will put itself out of business, they will vote in a provisional government that will, in effect, start over again, draft a new constitution. They expect that the bayonets will never be unsheathed and a shot uh, will never be fired. For the coup to have an air of legitimacy, Bonaparte and Siez wanted the legislators to vote them into power. They didn't want to seize it. Bonaparte counted on the help of his brother Lucien, who had been elected president of the lower house of the legislature as a result of his brother's popularity. But Lucien was powerless to persuade the council to dissolve the government. They run into real opposition. The opposition insist uh, that every deputy renew his oath of allegiance to the existing constitution, which they do. It takes over two hours to do this. Meanwhile, the key plotters waiting outside in the wings, as it were, are getting very uh, agitated, and particularly General Bonaparte, who eventually just loses patience and decides that he must intervene to speed things up. He enters the legislative house. This is strictly against the law. The legislature is barred to uh, any uh, outside military figure. And what he encounters there is, is genuine rage. The members of the assembly, they, they see these bayonets and that bearskin hats marching down the main aisle with Bonaparte in between them. And they begin to shout and scream, outlaw him, outlaw him. He's trying to take over the government. And his brother, Lucien. I said, wait a minute, my brother's not trying to take over the government. Calm down. And they say, we want him outlawed, we want him outlawed. Bonaparte never gets to utter a word uh, to, the, to the deputies. Uh, and he is, in effect, hustled out by the grenadiers who had come in with him uh, and uh, is quite badly shaken by this. Bonaparte had bungled. The coup seemed lost. His chance for power finished. When some of his own soldiers began to doubt their general's intentions, his brother Lucien took control of the chaotic situation. Lucien sees that Napoleon is going to miss the moment. He has the drums beat. He draws his sword. He walks over to Napoleon. He presses the, the point of the, of the sword, Napoleon's chest, and he said, believe me, soldiers of France, if Napoleon aspired to take over the government, be dictator, I'd run him through. The soldiers stormed the assembly hall. The cowed legislators fled, some jumping unceremoniously out the windows. At two o'clock that morning, a small rump of the council in league with the plotters reassembled and voted into law a new provisional government 
with three provisional consuls at its head. Bonaparte was one of them. This triumvirate is only a facade. Le coup d'état de parlementaire. The parliamentary coup had become a military coup. Et l'homme fort qui était. And the strong man is no longer Sienne. Now it is Bonaparte. Within weeks, Bonaparte outmaneuvered the other consuls, rewrote the constitution, and made himself head of state under the title first consul. As the year 1800 began, Napoleon Bonaparte, 30 years old was the most powerful man in France. The revolution, Bonaparte said, is over. And then he added, I am the revolution. <laughs>